they have this position that religious beliefs are outdated. They're, out, they're irrelevant, right? And so we see that happening in sort of like the woke movement and those sorts of things. What would you say, um, or how would you address this perception? Because obviously you're all Christians up here, and you believe Jesus' teachings are still relevant. How would you address that issue of, or that argument that the mm. views and teachings of the Bible are outdated? I'm just I'm, wondering whether they'd like to go back to the old Roman times. You know, <laughs> yeah, fair uh, point. When we look at things that are of value to particularly young people these days about justice and equality. You know, if we go back 2,000 years before Jesus' time, it wasn't a very equal world. It wasn't a very just world. Uh, and so Jesus brought in kindness, you know, social generosity and things like that, looking after society. So our society today, the modern society, has been shaped, really, by the Jesus movement, by yeah. Christianity. I'd say if you want to get away from Jesus and Christianity, you could actually go to the top 10 countries in the world that make Christianity illegal. Okay. Uh, what so are they? You can head to Afghanistan. Uh, you no, could, thanks. You could go to North Korea, Somalia, Libya, Yemen, Entria, Nigeria, Pakistan, Iran, India. Places where Christianity is very difficult and somewhat dangerous might be a great place to go if you think that Christianity is terrible enough for you. Well, I'll pick up on that. If you flip the coin in the other uh, sort of direction, when I was talking about the, us being part of the Western world, if you think about what are the countries that people are dying to get to, that they, you know, they get into boats, they get into dangerous situations, mm. risking their lives to get to countries that have the freedoms that we have in this country, and they want to get here because they don't have that in their own countries. And I think that says something about the foundation of the culture. But this question really is me. I mean, when it talks about um, outdated, you know, religious belief outdated and, and, and uh, irrelevant, that was how I grew up from my teens to my mid-twenties. I was an atheist. Yes. And uh, I thought, and I think the answer for that is that as human beings, sometimes we don't do a great job of representing God. And so as human beings, we can create institutions, we can create uh, facades of religion mm. that, never, that don't necessarily represent the God of the Bible. 